Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining me here today so that we can discuss The Last Shift. So this movie stars Richard Jenkins as a guy who's been working at the same fast food place for 38 years. And this is finally his last weekend. He's going to retire down to Florida, take care of some family business, and, you know, leave this, you know, leave this burger joint behind. At the same time, on this last weekend, he's training his replacement. Uh, who's played by Shane McGee, who's a very young guy who's just get, kind of getting started in life and already has kind of an uphill battle because of some legal issues. And so he really needs this job. So he's there because he's on probation. He doesn't want to work there, but he kind of feels trapped, essentially, because he wants to be able to see his kid and his, and his girlfriend and stay out of jail. And the movie story just pretty much follows these two characters as their lives intertwine and intersect, and we get to know them more. Um, so I liked The Last Shift. I thought it was really well made. I thought the performances were great. Jenkins, McGee were, are both excellent. And then you have Ed O'Neill, who has a really inter a smaller part, but still a really interesting role, and he's really up for it. I thought the acting across the board in this was really good. The entire movie is like super grounded and realistic and feels um, authentic. These are not uh, idealized characters. These are flawed characters that are presented in a, in a believable way, and I appreciate that, but I know some people want all sunshine and rainbows, and that's certainly not the last shift. This movie is pretty downbeat and can be depressing at times, but in like a relatable kind of a real life way to where it's almost kind of inspiring. And I think it does have some good um, messages, especially like that slow progress is progress, because I think that's definitely true and something that people lose sight of. And this movie makes a big deal about that, like moving from an air mattress to a real bed to a lot of people that might not be a big deal. But if you're at that, if you're at a point in your life where that's a big deal, like that's something to celebrate. And it is. And the movie does celebrate that. So anyway, I liked the movie. Um, I thought it was everything in it was. I thought the acting was great. I thought the direction was great. I thought it. And again, above all else, I liked it because it just felt really realistic and authentic, and the story kind of kept me hooked in. So that's my review of the Last Shift. I definitely recommend it. I thought it was a really solid movie. Uh, if you want to read more of my reviews, you can go to markfusion.com for thousands and thousands of reviews, and you can also go right here on YouTube to my video review playlist and check those out. Thank you so much for watching this one, though. I do appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you soon.